After CNN's Jim Acosta threatened Sarah Sanders off-camera, she shuts him up for her good. Sarah Huckabee Sanders told the press pool that during a bill signing by the president there would be no questions because it was not a press conference. Well, leave it to CNN's Jim Acosta to scream a question and then threaten the White House press secretary off-camera, which Sanders dealt with by shutting the fake news hack up for good. Everyone agrees Sir Huckabee Sanders' job as President Donald Trump's press secretary is a difficult one, and maybe one of the most stressful in his administration. She has been a warrior, taking on a group of Trump-hating journalists who have one goal, namely, to report fake news and help the Democrats try to destroy Trump. One of the worst, CNN's Jim Acosta, is a buffoon. Trump said to his face, you're really fake news, in fact. I'm changing the name to very, very fake news. Acosta has been a whiny baby ever since, and his Twitter feed reads like an employee of the Democratic National Committee. Sarah Sanders has had numerous run-ins with the fake news hack during press conferences, but now, we find out that she blasted him right before the president came out to sign an important bill. Twit he reports, Sarah Sanders was very clear on the intent of this bill signing and that it was not a presser, and Jim Acosta decided to be a big baby and make a spectacle of himself anyway. Acosta didn't like Sanders telling him to shut his trap and that the bill signing was not for reporters to ask questions. He told the press secretary that he would ask questions if he wanted to, which is not the proper etiquette for reporters assigned to the White House, and Acosta knows it. So does Sanders, and she is fed up with Acosta and his bullying tactics. As Trump was leaving the bill signing, Acosta shouted out a question about Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who the president had excoriated in a tweet which said, Lightweight Senator Kirsten Gillibrand a total flunky for Chuck Schumer and someone who would come to my office begging for campaign contributions not so long ago, and would do anything for them, is now in the ring fighting against Trump. Very disloyal to Bill and Crook abused. Lightweight Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a total flunky for Chuck Schumer and someone who would come to my office begging for campaign contributions not so long ago, and would do anything for them, is now in the ring fighting against Trump. Very disloyal to Bill and Crook abused. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, December 12, 2017. So, Sarah stood up for herself. And poor whiny Acosta tweeted out the major slap down he gave her, writing, prior to this moment, sick, at press issued a warning to me. She said if I ask the question of Trump at the bill signing I can't promise you will be allowed into a pool spray again. Sorry Sarah. We won't be intimidated. Prior to this moment, at press issued a warning to me. She said if I ask the question of Trump at the bill signing I can't promise you will be allowed into a pool spray again. Sorry Sarah. We won't be intimidated. Jim Acosta, at Acosta, December 12, 2017. Well, sorry for Jimmy, but Trump's press secretary has all the power over the CNN hack. If Sarah Sanders decides to oust Acosta from the White House pressers, and she can, it would be utterly devastating to his career. So, yes, he is a fool by saying we won't be intimidated. Anyone with half a brain should be intimidated since having a coveted seat at the White House pressers is the golden ticket for a political journalist. We get it, Jim. You don't like some woman telling you what to do, but at this point, it's painfully clear that it's time to let it go and stop with the theatrics and drama. And you know if they do indeed ban Acosta from the press pool he'll be TCH and moan and moan and be TCH about it for weeks, months, on end and play the media martyr he so desperately wants to be, added Twitchy. Sanders will expel Acosta and ban him from White House press conferences. Whether CNN retains that coveted seat is the only question. If they do keep the seat they will replace Acosta with another one of their hacks who hates Trump. Whether he is ousted immediately or within the next few weeks is anyone's guess, but he knows full well there are rules. Sarah Sanders is not someone who strikes me as not backing up her word. I believe that she will make good on her promise to Acosta. This isn't censorship either. Acosta is everything that is wrong with the media today. If he wants to play politics, 
then he should style himself as a pundit, someone who is giving opinions on the news. Instead, like so many others, he claims to be an unbiased reporter. Jim Acosta has been one of the worst reporters, called out by the president himself. He may have won that battle by shouting his lame question, but make no mistake, Sarah Huck 